City Council regular meeting Tuesday, February 16, 2021, 6.30 p.m. Civic Center, 115 South 4th Street. Ron, will you lead us in prayer, please? Father, we love you, and Father, we just uh, raise up all the city employees that are uh, out tonight in uh, this weather. We just uh, pray a hedge of protection over them, that you'll just deliver them home to their families when this event is over. And Father, we just pray your uh, uh, perfect uh, anointment and uh, wisdom over this city council as they uh, uh, determine and go over all the city events and all the uh, decisions they will have to make uh, that affects the city. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Roll call, please. Shannon. Michael. Okay. Michael. Shannon. Here. Christy. Here. Jennifer. Here. Item number one, the Skeveson Act to move March 16th, 2021 regular meeting to March 23rd, 2021. That's a spring break, and I don't know that we have to do it out for Make a motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number two, discuss an act on approval of consent agenda, A, financial reports for January 2021, B, minutes of meeting held in January 2021, C claims for the month of January 2021. Motion to approve. Second. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number three, discuss an act on approval of payment to AEP PSO in the amount of $21,674.38. Make a motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number four, discuss and act on approval of payment to Fuel Man in the amount of $9,935.73. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number five, discuss and act on approval of payment to emergency medical services in the amount of $11,056.59. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number six. Discuss an act on approval of payment to Henry at the Economic Development Authority in the amount of $9,924.03. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number seven. Discuss an act on approval of payment to Bank of Oklahoma in the amount of $40,715.30 for 2015 note series monthly payment. Motion to approve. Is that what it always is? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Second. <coughs> Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number eight discussion and update from Jake Barron regarding Quick Trips. I got to call him. He didn't want to make it for the weather. He said to call him and let him talk. Ma'am. I have, we're at the city council meeting. I told them due to the weather that you wanted a phone call. So you were on loud, yes, you were on loud speaker Great. and you are talking. So you're up, your item number eight, discussion and update from Jake Barron regarding Quick Trip. Item number eight, great. Uh, well, thank you guys for having me. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done this, so uh, I obviously can't see you. If you got a question, just uh, butt in and, and, and I'll, I'll do the best I can to, to answer your questions. Um, the, the status of the project is that Quick Trip uh, has acquired all the property necessary to build a travel center um, on 75 right there in Henrietta. We're super excited about it. Um, this weather has caused a little bit of a delay for us. As soon as our contractors can get out there, we will begin abating the asbestos and we'll demo that hotel immediately. 
Um, o, uh, ONG has staged some equipment out there. Um, they also have, have gotten behind a little bit on, on all their projects because of this weather. They will begin the relocation of that high pressure gas line. And once that is done, we will begin construction on that store. That store will take 50 weeks from the time we first start. So almost a year from the time we begin our construction, once ONG is gone. As soon as ONG is out of there, we'll, we'll know a better timeline. Um, but it's going to take them, um, you know, a couple of months to get that gas line relocated. Right. Uh, ODOT, we're good. ODOT, ODOT. We, ODOT we're great. Um, we're finalizing our driveway permits right now. We've acquired all the ODOT property. Uh, that, that's necessary. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. Um, I'm super excited. I'm trying to kind of think um, what else you guys would want to would want to know about. Um, well, but I've until told we them about the nightmare of ODOT and the fights we had to fight. I will tell you guys, um, you've got a heck of a mayor, uh, and and this project is where it is because of. Uh, you know, her continued efforts and her persistence. Um, I can't say enough kind things. Um, we try to develop these stores in cities throughout the country. And it is, we're, we're constantly fighting. We're constantly fighting. And, and we have felt uh, very welcomed uh, by the city of Henrietta. Um, the mayor has been awesome. She has you know, uh, taking the bull by the horns at times and made, made the phone calls that, that only she can make um, through personal relationships that she's established. And, um, I'm telling you, I, I don't think I'd be here if it weren't for her. So um, thank you. And, and again, it's going to be it's going to be a great store. Well, in November, I got an email that said it's do or die now. We're going to pull the plug if we can't get it done. That's right. So That's right. we made it happen, and I have to pat Roger Thompson on the back for making that occur as well, the senator, because he helped significantly get that moving forward, and it all fell into place. It went from Roger Thompson's office to Governor Stitt's office to Secretary of Transportation to that's his office. Um, I mean, it was it was pretty incredible um, the, the the energy we were able to create once once we became fully engaged with your help. So, a um, ton of gratitude. Uh, thank you very much. Well, we're looking forward to you being here, and I told you I'd do anything that it took to get you here. You, you stuck to your word, I guarantee you that. And there's a lot of people that say that stuff, but they can't, uh, they can't write those checks. And um, I, I really, really, really appreciate your help. It's gonna, uh, the store itself is gonna have diesel service for big trucks. The cool thing about our, our travel centers, these aren't uh, big truck stops where you got a lot of people spending the night uh, or taking showers or doing laundry and all that stuff. It's more of a fuel stop. Um, it's going to be great. I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys to um, shop our stores uh, and try our food. We've really been working hard on our food program. It's, it's going to be a good one. Y'all have any questions for Jake? He has got some rebuttal from our a person here in town not wanting them here and why they shouldn't be here. So we're trying and to I do want, knock that I down. I do want to come to a meeting. Once once this stuff um, blows over and we can get back to it, I want to come down for a meeting and bring some material. Uh, and maybe that will spur some more uh, questions as far as site plans and um, renderings and things like that, the way it's all going to look. Okay, sounds great. I don't have any questions. Well, Nobody appreciate him and all the Yeah, and they're saying they appreciate you and everything you've done and the hard work and we're looking forward to you being here. Hey, it's gonna be great. I'm super, super excited. Thank you guys very much. And I'll see you next month. I'll I'll come down there and we'll uh, we'll do it. Okay, sounds good. All right, thanks, Jake. Thank you guys. Thank uh -huh. you very much. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay. All right. Item number nine. Discuss and act on recommendations from Oklahoma Municipal Assurance Group, OMAG, to deny tort claim filed by Thomas Richardson, claim number 209046-1-HW. Oklahoma Municipal Assurance Group is our insurance group. They're saying that we do not have liability and they want us to deny it. I'll make a 
motion uh, on the one on the approved. Uh, second. <coughs> Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 10, discuss and act on approval of renewal of insurance policy for Henry at airport in the amount of $7,611. Unfortunately, we have to do it. <laughs> How many more years we got on that grant? Two, 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 Engineers Incorporated in the amount of $6,914.30 for engineering services. Motion approved. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Shannon. Yes. Christy. Yes. Yes. Item number 12, discuss and act on approval of ordinance number 1276, an ordinance amending the ordinance number 702 for the purpose of rezoning certain properties located at 506 East Division from R1 Single Family Residential District to R3 Manufactured Home District. We don't have anybody. Parking. 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 And that's the one where we changed it to be new. This is something you are fine with, right, Jody? Oh, is that the sure. deal? Okay. You're fine with all of this? I missed out what it was. Uh, approval of ordinance number 1276 on an ordinance amending ordinance number 702 for the purpose of rezoning certain properties East located East. at 506 East yes. Division. Okay. Yes. But the, all the, uh, everything was done. The uh, applicants understand the uh, uh, regulations and everything and new modular home is yes. all that's allowed yes that we changed from before and that's what the ordinance was that if they wanted to do that we would approve it but if yes. it wasn't what the guideline said we would okay i'll make a motion to approve um, second roll call please shannon yes Janice. Yes. Christy. Yes. 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 Item number 13 discuss and act on declaring an emergency on ordinance number 1276. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Shanna. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 14, discuss an act to appoint a council member for negotiations for, for the Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 115 for fiscal year 21-22. I have no problem doing it again. Make a motion to appoint Jennifer. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Shannon. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 15, discuss and act on city manager, public works director report. It's been crazy. <laughs> we live in Oklahoma and this weather is like Alaska. Crews have been completely engulfed in everything going on with the weather. Lines popping, things happening. We did get a major leak fixed prior to this occurring, which was a great thing because it was the main line that ran to our towers. We didn't make that public knowledge because then people draw a whole bunch of water up and we didn't need them doing that. So, Bruce knew right after it occurred. Um, urban contractors completed the Warren Road sewer main replacement. It was really pretty cool and they went fast and it was a pretty really, easy really project. They did a great really job. job. Initial cost estimates for Myers Engineering on the project for the spillway was very significant. Uh, we're still working on ins and outs of that and where we need to go with that with Ron, Donna, and the crews because it will be a large expense. But we're trying to in-house it. They did the um, storm drains and he thinks they can probably take this on and be a tenth of the cost of what we're looking at. So we're waiting to get further into that when the weather is gone and they can evaluate that. The hot trails had $458. They, they were booming prior to this. I don't know what they're doing now. <laughs> yeah. If I can say something before we move on. Yeah. Uh, my daughter, for y'all that don't know, her house burnt Sunday afternoon. It was the one out on Creek Mine Road. And she just wanted me to express to her how grateful she is to Steve Norman and his crew and David Buller and their crew. Dewar showed up as well as Plunky showed up as well. But how good they were to come out there and help them. It, it is a total loss. But 
uh, this community, we are so fortunate to live in this community. They've reached out to them in ways, even after she told them we have insurance and we're fine, she, she loved, still reached out to them and it's just amazing. So I just want to say thank you from my daughter and her family for doing that. We appreciate it. I'm glad they got out safe and that's the best part of it. But yes. it's still a tragedy when you lose everything that you worked for, had, and memories that but even, you thought you always had. I don't know if it was our fireman or, or it could have been a different fireman or not, but uh, my granddaughter is a critter lover and she loves critters and she had two guinea pigs in her room and uh, the fireman went in there. One of them could not be saved, but she they did save one of her guinea pigs and so that was fantastic. That was a yeah. good news. Something so. that they went over and beyond to do. Yeah. It was appreciated. We have good staff all around city employees. Yes, there's something that our police officers and the fire department and everybody came out there and worked hard. Awesome. Okay, um, I need a speak of the union Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Shannon. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 16 discuss and act on new business. No new business. Item 17, adjourn. I motion that we adjourn. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Shannon. Yes. Christy. Yes. Yes. Henrietta Municipal Authority, regular meeting, Tuesday, February 16th, 2020, 6.30 p.m. Civic Center, 115 South 4th Street. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Michael. Shannon. Here. Christy. Here. Jennifer. Here. Item number one, discuss and act on approval of consent agenda, A, financial reports for January 2021, B, minutes of meeting held in January 2021, C, claims for the month of January 2021. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number two, discuss and act on approval of payment of two Centerpoint landfill in the amount of $11,450. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. I will say that it's been tough for the guys to get out and get trash services. You know that uh, the roads have been very snow packed and they've been working as hard as they can to get the roads drivable for everybody. And they will um, do their best to get the trash services done for everybody to the best of their ability. But if you can't make it out and you can't do it, then you can't expect the city crews to make it happen either. So. Be reasonable on what to expect and what can happen because this is something that nobody ever expected as far as a winter storm. We're in Oklahoma, <laughs> which everything happens here. We should have guessed it, but I've never seen negative temperatures in my life. It's just crazy. Item number three, discuss and act on approval of payment to OWRB 09-0029-CW and the amount of $11,193.26 for the monthly payment. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Shannon. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number four, discuss and act on approval of payment to OWRB ORF. 08-0015-DW and the amount of $37,962.14 for the monthly payment. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number five, discuss and act on approval of purchase of caustic soda in the amount of $10,000 for the water treatment plan. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number six, discuss and act on approval of purchase of ferric chloride in the amount of $9,500 for the water treatment plan. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number seven, discuss and act on approval of contractors final application for payment in the amount of $98,225.55 for Urban Contractors LLC for the sewer system main replacement. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number eight, discuss and act on approval of purchase of 200 polycarts from Rearing Pacific Company in the amount of $12,560. Are those just the river polycarts? 
motion to approve? Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. <laughs> Item number nine, discuss and act on new business. I'm kind of like Jana. I don't really have any new business, but I just want to thank everybody that's reached out to me. My mom's been in the hospital a week today. I don't really know what's going on. She was on a vent for six days. She woke up today, but she's not able to speak. Don't really, I know she's got an infection. She was septic. So I just want to thank you all because I've had tons and tons of outpouring on Facebook, personally, messages and everything else asking and praying for her. All we have right now is prayers, and I've, I know you've seen my granddaughter coming back and forth up here. I've been gone for a week, so y'all, they're happy to see me, and they didn't want to leave me today. But just keep the prayers up, because that's all we have at this point. I don't know where it's going. But I just wanted to thank you all for reaching out to me. No new business. Item number 10, adjourn. Second. Roll call, please. Shannon. Yes. Jana. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. 